Hello everyone, this is DA from Academy and today we are going to see one of the important concepts of functional analysis that is convex sets. So if we have a linear space N and we take two points from that linear space and we have scalars from the interval 0 to 1 that is, it is a closed interval from 0 to 1. So now we have a linear space. We take two elements from that linear space, x and y, and we have to pick a scalar from that interval 0 to 1, and we represent scalar by alpha, that alpha belongs to 0 to 1 interval. Then the set of points like this, that is z is equal to alpha x, where alpha is a scalar, x is the point of the linear space, 1 minus alpha and y that is also a member of the linear space so this z this type of the points is called the line segment from x to y where x and y are both endpoints that is this z must be a line segment in n and we can represent it as like this where the endpoints are x and y so talking about geometrically or physically so how we can say that any set or surface is convex? So if we have a surface or area of this type and all of the possible line segments from two points joined in that surface, that is if I'm taking randomly two points and the line segment is within the surface, that is the surface here. I am taking the points, I am taking the points, I am taking the points and all of the possible line segments are within this surface and if we have a surface like this then all of the possible line segments are not mainly within the surface. So this line segment if it is x and it is y, it is out from the surface. So this is not a convex set, but it is a convex set. So this is the geometrical or the physical way of telling how we can say that any surface is a convex set or not. So now moving toward the formal definition of a convex set. If C is a subset of that linear space N, and C is said to be convex if and only if for all of the elements that was taken from that subset of the linear space N, that is C. If we take any two random elements from the subset of N, that is C, the set C, and the scalar from this interval 0 to 1, and we have elements of this form, alpha x plus 1 minus alpha into y, must also be an element of C, that is the subset of N. So if this condition hold for every element, for every two elements of the set C, that is a subset of the linear space N, then we can say that C is a convex set. Now moving toward its examples. The very first example of the convex set is any subspace of linear space is convex. So the point that is important here is that we are not talking about any subset of a linear space N, but we are talking about any subspace of a linear space N. So it is very common example that any subspace of linear space is convex. Now moving toward the second example any subspace that is represented by s of a linear space n and if we take any random element of the linear space n and we form a set of this type that that random element of n is added in every element of that subspace and then we have this type of set then this set is is also a convex set so i'm not going to prove this that it is a convex set there because it is left for your exercise and you can tell me that there's a need to do this or not. 
so this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye